Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley Hens. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. What's up, what's up, what's up, boy? You got Dr. Carl in the house today, and, and my wife is moving the, the camera everywhere. I don't know. Y'all, today, what kind of gonna be? <laughs> we're doing a car mukbang, y'all, today, today, today. It's a little cloudy outside. We're doing day two of my girl, Ladybug Bethany V Love Life. Her seven day low carb challenge. We're in the car, about to go pick up my granddaughter Kelly from school. This is a Walmart mukbang. That's that. I got some boneless, y'all man, I can't see that. Boneless general TSO wings, boneless chicken. And we got it. My husband and I got a salad. And I got some salmon. He got some salmon. Mm -hmm. And we have a salad. Uh, we have a salad we got from Walmart as well and I got some cucumbers with some I love this y'all yep 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 so how y'all doing it today my baby's gonna pray over the food and we got something to drink we got this this is a cream soda and we're gonna he got his coldest water bottle and dig 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 and we're going to get it in, y'all. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, precious Lord, for all you have done for me and my family in putting this food in our present and our hands, allowing us to eat today, God, from last night laying down. And I'm asking you to bless this food and drinks that we are about to eat and drink. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, 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 amen. How y'all doing today, Lee Shelley is? Thank you guys for watching the video yesterday. Yep, your girl was late. Was I late? No, I was not late. I was not late. You were late. No, I wasn't. I wasn't late yesterday. Yeah, you were late. They can't hear you, baby. You whispering. Where's the... Give me my fork right there, my love. No, I'm putting it in the top. I just had to put down there. Oh, okay. He putting his salad in here. It's your salad. Oh, it's my salad? Okay, thank you. Y'all, we are in front of a dentist. And I say dentist. A dentist. Oops. Still, I'm sorry, y'all. There it is. A little better. Yeah, whenever we do a car move bong, I take the opportunity to wear my green, anything that, that my green screen might show invisible. I take the opportunity to wear it. My fork right here. Y'all, I love to have my vegetables with my beloved life make delicious sauce. Yes, indeed. These come from these are mini coops. I have to herbie eat them. I'm gonna eat some more later on tonight. I got I got this right here, but I'm probably not gonna eat all this in this video, y'all. And I got some of these. Oops, let me not lean it on my clothes. Man, they can't see your food. Not yet. And I'm trying to prepare my food. He got his polo shirt on. That's what worry you, about the polo. Is that the one you got from the from the No the no no. They have polos at the, at the no. thrift store. This didn't come from there. This didn't come from no thrift store. Oh, well, they have them now. It didn't come from no thrift store. Okay, well. I'm sorry. Here. Oops. No, this is mine. This is, I forgot how much this was. Five, well, no. It's, I, I didn't get a whole pound. Oh, this one, y'all, was $3. $3.29. That's how much it was. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Yep, yep. I don't have to have a lot of grape. Oh yeah, first bite, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all something here. What you looking for, sweetie? Why you why you have to use a middle why do people use that middle finger to point? That's what you need. He pointed to the why? It, it's the longest finger of the of the hand. So y'all y'all we're doing low carbs.
got traffic in front of us, and it is traffic, okay? Yeah, I'm sitting high. I'm and driving, I'm sitting low. Yeah, drive my baby's car. Y'all yeah, don't see y'all. Y'all might see Kelly. Kelly name that car seat in the back. My baby car, T. That's treasure, living life with T. That's my daughter's daughter. Your girl is hungry. And I'm sleepy. But I got the grind, grind, okay? I don't have to have a lot of dressing, y'all. Or a lot of meat. This salad is a... Baby, can I have some of your... Some of that? Some of your salmon? I forgot the name of this salad. A garden salad, probably. I brought some paper towels, too. And it came from... Uh oh, sorry. What do y'all do? It came from Walmart today, like I said earlier. But anyway, y'all, it is a beautiful scenery right here. It looks like it's about to pour down, huh, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paper towel. Don't be strong on this, Shaggy. Rocking my car. Rocking on the car. Confunction section. The high go. Confession section. This is my confession. I'm in a good mood right now. Well, y'all, I do have a confession to make. Y'all remember we was talking about um, CPS? Well, I was telling you about the young man, Gabriel. But well, he's not a young man, he's like a little boy. But he passed away at the age of eight. His name was Gabriel Fernandez. His documentary is on Netflix called The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. And he was harmed by his mother and his mother's boyfriend. Not this far. I guess it's stepdad, I guess. And my topic of discussion is even though I can't I can't really relate to the things they did to this, their son, her son, or even a stepchild, even a grandchild, I can't relate to that. I okay. can't. In my psyche, I really, really can't, but I can relate to CPS. I know this is TMI, but I'm trying to help somebody. And I know that it's a lot of content, not content creators, but at least children watching who may have, may or may not have gone through this. But my children was taken, the CPS came to my house, my apartment, I was divorced from my, my husband, my first husband. Not Carl. It was Treasure's, my daughter's dad. I think my son was, I don't know if he was 10 or 11. He might have been 11 or 12, I think. I'm not sure. And Treasure is um, seven years under him. But they were latchkey kids, y'all. I can tell you about me. They were latchkey kids. And sometimes, uh, and I'm saying all this to say because sometimes parenting, well, a lot of times parenting is very hard. And I discussed that in the last two videos, that parenting is hard. Even when you're an adult, like in your 30s. And I had just started the post office. I was 30 when I started the post office. And... The CPS came and took my kid, my children, but they gave them to my, my brother for a, was it, you don't know, but you, do you remember me telling you a story? It was like a week. Was, I remember it was doing a holiday. I remember it was doing Christmas time. I cried. I didn't even stay in my own apartment. I went to stay with them. But, um, they let my brother, uh, and his wife at the time, uh, keep my son and my daughter. You remember me telling you a story, baby? And, um, I was divorced from my first husband. Um, and I, I say this to say because 
parents, it is hard. It is. It's hard for people who are good, who have good intentions, who are grown, grown. Not like young, have like not like kids having kids. I was like 30, about 35, something like that. I don't know, 33. But I was grown, grown. And I was a good mother. I had a good paying job. I just started, I think, a year or two or maybe or so. And my job was at night, working at night. And, you know, I don't know if y'all know what the post office, they don't, when you are just starting, you get to work the shift they give you. Okay, but now I don't have that problem because I've been here for 20 years. I, I I work the shift I want, and here I am. I had food for my children in the little place that have the compartments with the lid on top. Had their name Treasure. Had one. The month had the other. Had their vegetables. Had their rice, their grains, and their all their food in there. And drink. Everything was already in the refrigerator. My son was like 11, I think, or 12, and he knew how to warm it up. But my daughter was like five, cause she, no, no, she was like seven. Cause she's seven, whatever that is, she's seven years minus under him. So if he was 12, she was five. Yeah, if she was 12, if he was 12, she was five. I know that's bad y'all, it was bad. And I don't condone it, but I'm telling you about me cause I had to do what I had to do, I really did. Just had a good paying job. And, and at that time making 14,000 hours was good back then. That was a 19, that might have been 2000, or the 1999, one of them. No, because my daughter was five, so it had to be in 2000 and something, because she made, she was born in 98. Maybe 2004. But, let me tell you what happened, y'all. They, my son was, I don't know if he's washing his hands in the sink, they knew not to open the door for nobody. He was washing his hands in the kitchen and forgot to turn off the faucet, not in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and forgot to turn off the faucet. We lived upstairs, y'all. And the faucet overflow, over, overflowed with water. He didn't go really out to turn it off for nothing. Probably playing the game, probably watching TV. Who knows? Probably on the phone. Not cell phone, because he didn't have a cell phone at that time. And, and the water in the sink overflowed, and it overflowed all the way to went it downstairs to the neighbors downstairs in the neighbor house in the bathroom and that's how I met her name was Lisa as well like me I didn't know her at all but I met her after after that so she knew that a single mother with two kids lived up, up above her she was a mother she was married she had two kids and she was married with her husband they lived up below below me and um so she went to so the water was coming into her her room or her wherever wherever it leaked at and she went to the office and told the office, baby, you know how to start phone. Oh, well, and I ain't no, I ain't ashamed to tell you at all, but I'm saying that because it could be good parents like me who really have good intentions, who have food for their kids, and whose house is not dirty, nasty, and uh, they're not malnutrition, who can fall into those things as well. You know, so that's why I say parenting is hard. It's always good to have help, you know, reliable help and trustworthy help or whatever. But my mom lived on the southwest side like she does today. Thank God she's alive and well. And I live I lived on the north side of town like I still do today. Right? Um she called the office. Lisa called the office down there. We became very, very good friends. She called the office and the office had no other choice but to come in the house. And then when they came in through the door, the door, they had to call the police because they were home alone. And I'm not ashamed to even tell you that story because I really do want to help somebody. These young parents today, we know it's hard, y'all. We know it's hard. And and mothers, grandparents, and great aunties, and big sisters, and big brothers, and neighbors who are, who are, who are mature, and spiritually mature. If you see a neighbor or see someone in your neighborhood that, you know, might need a little help, you know, sometimes, you know they're a single parent, whether it be a man or a woman. We you know, offer your help without having any ill intention behind it, you know? Help them out, you know, give them a word of encouragement, you know, or something, you know. That's that, and I wish I had that. My mom did try to help me. My mom um, knew I was at work. She knew I had, had to go to work. I worked at the post office, and I was working from like 10 in the a.m. or 12, and I got off at like at 7 o'clock or something like that. It wasn't like late at night when I got off. They was like 
because the office was still open when she went to report that the leak was coming into her, her house. And so it was it had to be before five. And I think I got off at that time at seven, seven thirty. And but my mom had kept saying, Lisa, you need to find a babysitter. You need to find a babysitter. She right. Cause y'all babysitters was um, daycares were very high at that time. It's still high today, if not higher. You know. So it was high. And I was just not too long started trying to get my little change up together, you know. So child, I just got divorced. I just got my divorce from my first husband, which is my daughter's daddy. So everything was on me. I had my own apartment, my own car. I was spending everything my own, you know. And so it was it was tough. It was tough. And I am a good mother. You know, but my, my son and my daughter, they were latchkey kids. And I know that you might be saying, girl, why are you telling that about yourself? Because I because I'm I, I'm not ashamed. And I'm a good mother, I always have been. And it can happen to the best of us. And I consider myself as one of the best parents that there that was and still is today. You know, but I would never do that now. That's why I saw I go out my way to go get my, my granddaughter today. Four days a week, Tuesday through Friday, go get her. Um from the from the, and she's at daycare. Kelly's at daycare. So I, I'll try to I don't want her to my daughter to have to go through feel like she have no other option or whatever. So I'm way on the other side of town, you know, I can't come, you know, or whatever. Even though I am tired, but you know, I, I don't want her to feel like she got the you know, Kelly's too young, she can't be a latch key kid anyway. She just one years old, you know, so she sure can't be no latch key kid. But my son was 11, I think, or 12, and my daughter was uh, seven or either, I mean, five or either four, something like that. Yeah, she was young, y'all. She was, you know. And my mom knew that I was working, working. When I was working, y'all, when I, I, I don't know, with no other man in no strip club, you know, at the happy hour, at the bar, you know, at the gym. Now, I was at work trying to grind. That's the, I, the, I didn't like that shift, but that's the shift they gave me. Trust me, I, I wanted to get enough shift, you know. But my mom knew that, even though she said, baby, you have to find her, find something else, because this ain't going to keep working like this, yeah. You know, and she worked herself, and she's still working now. Even though she retired, she's retired from the, from the FedEx, she had a job. Um, she was working then, and she still works now, even though she's retired. But, and so, the, the policemen, when they questioned, they questioned both my kids by themselves, individually, asked them uh, if that whooped them with a bill, and all that, asked them a lot of questions, or whatever. Individually, they asked them, I think, treasure with somebody, because she was so young, and they asked Demonte. And they realized I was a good parent. They said even in, in the paperwork that I was, they had food, everything was clean. There wasn't no urine and no, you know, bowel movements everywhere. You know how some people, they go in people's house homes and find them, you know, feces everywhere. And it's just nothing there. They're mal mal nutri malnourished. Child, I can't think. They didn't say that. They had good good comments about me. And I'm glad about that. But I just cried and boo-hoo because I hate that, you know, I got caught up. And, I, and I, I'm the type of person where I know God always allowed things to happen to me, you know, because he loved me. And the Bible said he chastises the ones he loves, you know. And so because he just want me not, he, he didn't want me at that time. And even today I won't. They want me to, you know, take a chance like that. Because anything could have happened, y'all. Anything could have happened. Even though my son and my daughter, they knew not to open the door. I had a house phone. I had, I, well, I don't know if I, I had a cell phone, I think. But they had a house phone. All, they knew my mama number and all that. But still, you know, anything could have happened, you know. Like it did. The water overflow. Thank God it wasn't a fire. You know, thank God it wasn't anything with it would have took their lives. You know, I would have been so, like, destruct y'all. I don't know if I would have, I probably would have come back from that, but it would have been very, very hard knowing that, hey, I'm trying to work and I let that, you know, come between my, between my kids. But, you know, that's why I go out my way right now to go and get, um, it closed at five, um, to go and get my, help my, my daughter way from the other side of town because I don't want her to feel like she got to, you know, do those types of things when Katie get older because she can't depend on anybody. Because, yes, you I work. You up at 4.30 and then you have to be at the house to feed her at five. Yeah. But yeah. she she Trenton, told my mom Trenton. that uh she told my mom that when she get a she'll have to feed her that she'll feed when she get there because Trudy be already there. Yeah, but we at the end of the day I had to, have to pick up by a certain time, which we are right down the street from the daycare, right down the street, you know. Uh, um, but I just thought that was that's very important to you know help you know help people if they need help these young adults and these people here they need help or whatever. If you retire, you're not doing nothing, you know. If you know that you're good, you're good with kids. You retire from daycare, or you retire from education. You know, offer your services to help them and watch them. You know, and charge them a little bit of something. You know, we charge them a little bit, you know, or whatever. So we know you need your money too. But I just thought then I, I want to say this too that they wouldn't let my mother keep my kids for that week was it a week or two i think it was a week a week or a week and a half and i just boo and cried y'all because they felt like my mom knew that they were at home by, them, by themselves and she did because i was working and she knew i was trying to you know i just started that good paying job so she knew this already so yeah we told she told she was honest she told the truth she ain't gonna lie i said no i ain't know because my mom is a woman of god as i am so she told the truth you know and they they understood that 
but it, they don't want us to take those chances like that because anything, like I said, could have happened. And so I just want to, um, that's, that's why I go out my way right now for my daughter right now with Callie, you know, even though I had to be at the daycare close at five o'clock, and my daughter would like for me to go and pick her up by 4.30 so that she won't be the only one there. But she gets off work at 4.30. But she going to be in all this traffic that I see here. You guys can see all this traffic that we left out a whole hour and a half to get over here. From the south to the north, from the north side to the south, we, took, we left out an hour and a half. Really an hour and 40 minutes to get over here to be on time. You know, so we can get her. But she, when she gets up at 4.30, she's going to be stuck in, tra stuck in traffic herself. So I don't mind doing it because I, I know how it, it's, a, it's a struggle being a single. She's not married, and it's a, it's a struggle being a single, single parent. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys, let you know let you know more about me. You know, so if I ever do ever do two truths in a day, you'll know that's, that's, that's truth. Anything else before we go? Y'all, this salmon is so good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. They came from Walmart, too. Mm. What time is it, babe? Oh. Okay. About five minutes. We got about five minutes, y'all. So, I mean, we are literally right there. I can walk to the daycare if I really wanted to. No, it's over down. Is that the next flight? No, it's further down. So now you said it's further down. You said the next flight? Yeah, the next flight is way down there. Oh, I get there in five minutes. Mmm. Parenting is hard already. Then you're trying to work. You know, you're trying not to rely on welfare. Not that there's anything wrong with welfare at all. Because I was on it at one point early on in my life, too. Years and years ago, when I just had my son, when I lived in Louisiana. So, I'm not bashing that at all. Sure, I ain't. But, as y'all know, we ain't trying to get, if you get like the smallest of jobs, they're going to say, oh, you make too much. You ain't even get no food stamp. You ain't even get no Wi-Fi. You ain't even get no whatever they're offering now. If you make, you make 10 cents too much, you ain't even get that boo. So, I respect and commend young adults like my daughter's age, my son's age, who are trying to raise their children, rear them the right way, and not depend on uh, what's it called, baby, uh, the government. You know, I'm not saying it's, it's a problem. It's, it's nothing wrong with you if you have to. If you have to, you have to. But I also commend those who you know try to try to hustle and get a job. Who you know try to just do it on their own. You know, but it's it's, it's hard either way. Trust me, I know. Hmm. Mm. Let me choose a bite. I'm gonna be through. Mmm. This will conclude. Look at him. He looking like he just don't know what to do. You ain't gonna say nothing to the shelling, baby. Baby, don't eat my stuff. Do not eat my. This will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share your girl video. We're trying to get to 5K. We're trying to get to 10K. We're trying to get up, up, and up. And please thumbs up the video, y'all. Please thumbs it up for us. We're asking that you do that so that YouTube can recommend our videos all across the board. So, yeah. And, and, and leave a comment. Let us know how you feel. Give us some more ideas. Tell us some good positive things. And, and tell us if you've ever experienced anything with CPS or if you know anyone that has experienced it, you know, just to get somebody who, who reads it on the line something, some, encourage, some encouragement because parenting is hard. So, and ding, dong, ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And did I say share us on TikTok, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, your community posts. What else it is? Snapchat, Twitter, share us on tic I say TikTok, Facebook, share your girl and your boy, okay? And be quick with it. La 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 la. All right, Lee Shellians. Bye. See y'all later. 
in. We love y'all, okay? Mm. Extra, oh. extra. That's his little jingle. Hear all about it. Comment when you can. Ooh. Extra, extra. Hear all about it. Comment when you can. Hey, that's his new jingle, y'all. Extra, extra. What did you say? Extra. Extra, extra. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. From us. Uh-huh, from us. Really and then... We really shading this. And then comment. He said, what? Comment. He don't even know. He's trying to figure it out, y'all. No, I say extra, extra. Hear all about it. Comment when you can. Oh, okay. Oh, hit the button. Oh, subscribe. Oh, tell us all about what's on your mind. We want to know. All right, y'all. We about to go That's pick up Kelly Poo Poo. That's, That's a it. fact, Jack. We got us two new jingles. He got one and I got one. I do what I do when I want to know it. Boy, you don't tell me nothing. Let me start this car child. Well, you better start it up right now. And put it in drive. All right, we love y'all. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm. Deuces. Peace. Like B-Love, Zay. And I agree. Bye, y'all. Bye. Mm -hmm.